Hello students, Ms. Galarza here, and I'm going to show you the next step on your radial design. On our previous video, we saw how we can do one corner of the art design and how we can transfer it over until we have our full design on our piece of paper. Today, we are going to outline and color our design. So, I'm using a black marker. You can use a pen, but I recommend a marker because it's thicker. And I'm just going to go over my design so I can make sure these lines are nice and crisp. And that way I can also see where exactly I'm going to be coloring. And I'm going to be coloring mine with oil pastels because that's what I have available right next to me. But if you have color pencils, you can use color pencils. If you have crayons, you can use crayons. So to color this is whatever you have available for you to use at home. For this process, you can slow it down and just make sure that you do all of your lines. I'm going pretty quick just because I want to show you the finished product. But you can definitely slow down so you can get your nice lines done. This will also give your drawing some nice contrast. That is when it is very, when your darks and lights are very pronounced. So that way when I add my colors, these lines are going to be visible even from far away. So that's the first part of my design. And remember to add your three symbols to your drawing. it's easier for you you can turn the page however it will work best for you And my last elements, which are my paintbrushes.
this is also a time where if you missed any details that you wanted like I feel like this should have a little bit of texture just so that I know that it's supposed to be a paintbrush plus on the little hairs you can do that right now too with your dark marker that way it's super visible And now that all of my lines have been traced, oh I missed a couple, I'll do those right now. I'm going to come in with some colors to take my artwork into the next level. I'm only going to color a bit here with you. You're going to color the full thing, that way you don't have to watch me color for a couple of minutes and you can go ahead and get started on yours. For my color scheme, I'm going to keep everything symmetrical, so whatever I do in one square, I'm going to do the same for the others. But if you want to do something a little different, go ahead and give it a shot. It's your artwork, you can definitely try it out. Alright, now that all of my lines are all outlined, I'm going to come in with some color to give it some more dimension and some details. So, like I mentioned, the thing in the middle is a succulent, so I'm going to use the greens to fill it in. Coloring this shouldn't be stressful, it should be almost like a relaxing experience. You can basically use whichever colors if you would like. Another thing is that many colors have symbolism. So if you're using a color and you know its symbol, you know what it means, you can definitely write that too on your Padlet. That's where you're going to be submitting these at the end of class or at the end of the day today. You're going to Take a picture, make sure that your name and your period number is on it, and you're going to submit it to me through Padlet. The reason I am not blending these very well is because it's oil pastel, so you can blend them after you apply the medium. The medium is the art material you're using. If you're using something like color pencils, you definitely want to fill all of these in. Another thing is because I came in with that dark marker, even though now I'm covering some of it up, you can still see it. If I had left it only with the pencil, the moment that I added this color pastels, this oil pastels, or something like a marker on top of it, if I'm using colored markers, those uh, lines would have completely disappeared. Now, you can come in with something like a tissue 
or come in with your finger when it comes to oil pastels to mix or you can just add more oil pastel until you're happy with it All right, and that is my first symbol all done. I also have some waves in here that I can do real quick, and then I'll let you guys go. Let you can go and get working on yours. I'm just gonna keep coloring for a bit so that you can see the finish. Um, actually, I'm not gonna finish it in this video. I'm probably gonna cut this video short and send it to you guys, and then I will post the picture of how it looks after I'm done coloring it fully into Schoology and you'll have a chance to see it. I hope that those my all of my uh, students at home are doing well. I hope you're feeling well and I hope that this isn't too confusing. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me, send me a message through Schoology. I will do my best to answer it as quickly as I possibly can. If um, you have another way you want to do something and you don't know if it would be acceptable for this project, also message me. Let me know what your thoughts are and what it is that you're working on. Alright, hopefully I will see you in a couple of days.